DJ signs new deal with Warner Music Group. Oh wow. Care or don't care? Um, it's interesting because um the uh, several artists articles that I read, mm-hmm. um, I think it was Dance on Mag, Prism, Star. They all mentioned that it was one song that the Drift song was the reason for the signing. Really? At least TJ in a post, him credited yeah. to the song. One right. And I'm and just said, like, damn, look what Drift did. No way. No way can one signing. It can't be because of the one song. It can't be because of the one song. Um, um, I'm just find the article. Details of the deal haven't been um, no, it made public, but it seems like all signs are pointing towards it being a publishing, publishing deal. deal. Yeah. Which I mean, would it what? would, it would explain, be more... Can you explain what, what it would be? All right, so him being signed to a publishing deal versus him being signed to After the label. 60, yeah. Um, Him being signed to a label would be him basically... Getting the, the push and the money from the label from being the label marketed. Handling the marketing, all these things. Mm-hmm. While a publishing deal, you know, it's more along the lines of... You know, that book deal, you get a publisher. Mm-hmm. And they're basically pushing out the they're book. printing it so you write it and they they make sure that it's printed and distributed on the right channels yeah, yeah. so essentially that's what the publishing okay. deal is mm-hmm. um so that's what tg has signed supposedly allegedly because again we really don't know what the, the final deals are the final point of the deal are is mm-hmm. yeah so it's like them are deal with the business end of things in regards to the publishing of the music mm-hmm. um yeah, essentially Okay, um, so I was kind of like, what? And then it's just as he said, well, as you said, like TJ, like the the point of reference is because of Drift, and I'm just like, I refuse to believe it's just that one song. Mm-hmm. It has to be his entire even his catalog. caption said it. Damn, look what Drift did. Yeah, <clears throat> it has to be his entire catalog. I don't think I really don't think the the comp, like. Are you saying that the song isn't good enough? No, that it's that's not exactly what I'm saying. And for people to think that it's just the one song, like it's diminishing TJ's catalog, mm. you know, because it, it it wouldn't be good business sense for <clears throat> the pop the the, the 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 label to sign it based on one song. It could be the song that got him over the line. It could be. Maybe that's where the pink the interest is peaked. Mm-hmm. And then I'm sure that they would have probably done their research on the back end for the city songs and to see the growth of him. And then of course Sharon Burt being into it and Shaggy being in the in the in the um the rooms and the, the conversations would help propel it. But I just can't it can't be that one song. It wouldn't be a good decision, business decision to sign him off that one song. So I'm I'm putting it is that it's the one song that got him over the got the attention of the people, but based on the work that he has done thus far, mm. it, it would make sense for them to sign him. So I just don't want, like I was just having a problem with how it was the the article or how it was being it come off as, as if it was just drift and drift alone. You know who did that? Right? It can't be drift alone. You know who did that that position the messaging in that manner? Who? Sally James. Agency. Well, I guess. <laughs> That's them. I guess. It helped, but to, it, can't it helped to further or at least put more shine on the songs. Yeah, yeah like, which what is a big song I do. Fine, true. Yeah, it's true, true. But it can't be. It can't and if be. you don't know Drift by now, go listen to it. Yeah, because it got TJ this, this year. Right. It can't be. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wanted to go or tie this to a, a, a separate conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, is Dancha, is Dancha, is <laughs> Dancha actually in a good space? <clears throat> Because you have this news. You have, um, is that true? Jesus <laughs> you have the news of Byron Mercer also signing to Interscope, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, also doing well overseas, it would seem. Mm-hmm. Um, you, have, you have Drift. Mm-hmm. Of course, we we'll just mentioned this signing. Mm-hmm. Um, V6 out there doing damage as well. Mm-hmm. So is Dance actually in a good space? Is it not all doom and gloom like how we sometimes paint it here <clears throat> you you you, you <laughs> say interesting because i have my thoughts then, and, uh, then go ahead i put it out there for y'all to answer i want you to answer you want me to go first 
Um, I would say that you cannot definitively say that right now off of just, just these songs. I will say that it seems like Oh man, this is where I agree with Triple X. Right? So it seems like we're going to move off of the whole chopping thing there. I, I, and the science thing there. We still uh, hear a couple songs, wouldn't it? But it feel like that are begin to fade out. And it seems like the artists are trying more to tap into feel-good songs. It would seem. Um, but what I'm definitely seeing is that them songs that take, uh, take time are, are dead out. It would seem to me. Um, but yeah, I cannot definitively say that we're in a good space because looking at these songs and how they're doing right now is almost a, like you look on things short term. Because the song they might go on, yeah. are we going to get any international superstars out of these songs? <coughs> and that's really the end goal. If it's not the end goal end game, then what is true you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I see the numbers on Apple it's like Apple are one of them streaming platform there when what people reference and say hey the numbers are forged there as well that's why the streaming platforms are people look and say Meh. is it all that trustworthy not to diminish what they mute do and they damage other because even just hearing from anecdotal stories, people who are in New York, they might say, yeah, Taliban's are gone. Mm -hmm. It's clear that that song there, it a move. Mm -hmm. and, that, and I don't want- That song is Afrobeat. <laughs> <laughs> Which was like the whole, the, my point of like, look at the African music performance. It's dance all because it doesn't say dance, but it does have <laughs> an Afrobeat feel to it. Yeah, that, that much we can say, but the artist never said that. The it artist was. never said that. <laughs> <laughs> the artist correct himself and say, oh, yes, it's a dance song. That's a poor scene. I know, song. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a who that? That's a, that is a dance song. It's sound like Arabian. <laughs> hey, dance song. Oh, my gosh. Uh, gosh. So, I can't definitively say that. And it's like, Make a further ask questions even in relation to that song and even drift. Say, so is it that it's what the artist them what the artist them must say? Like it don't matter what they must say, it's how them say it. Mm, is it that or what? The beat? The rhythm? I've always said it's the the beat yeah. too. Like like is it it I think with lyrics it's kinda of funny. Because we just because we are said drift drift never drift drift never really, drift never really get it have, right. Um, <laughs> it's not a wordy song. Give me the first twenty words. Mm -hmm. like, exactly, it's not a. May fuck up inna. Watch out. It's not a word. The one clear lyric I can remember: man a bad man killer. Andrew. It's not a wordy. W W O R D Y song. It's not yes. a wordy song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know. It's clearly <clears throat> the vibe of it. The, the 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 rhythm is the core of it is dancehall. Like there's a core drum and bass to it with a little new flair. Um and it's like just the vibe, like and and mm -hmm. you know, talk about function and what it's doing, like it, it knows its function in the space is to be a party, feel exactly good song mm -hmm. and to get people going for the summer, you know? So mm -hmm. I think, you know. We're ask, you're asking what dancehall, or the state of dancehall right now. Yeah, is it is it in a good space? I think it's the cool. song them now, and I don't want to say this to shit on on the songs and what them are do right now because mm -hmm. it can always climb to get into those spots. Mm -hmm. But it now do a wa Sean Paul, wa Sean Paul song in its head they do. Mm -hmm. Well, the times has changed, you know. Like have we have changed. Just, like the times really have changed, and we can't. We can't. One of the things I feel like what sometimes what we do, mm -hmm. us and people in general, is like we probably compare old to now, and I guess that's what the younger people are saying. Is it like, unfair to it, expect a dancer unfair. song to have the same type of effect of a song like? Just give me the uh, like. Just give me the like. Is it 
unfair to expect that of a dance or song. No, because like that kind of set the bar like you're expecting it to be I that or I don't think it's above. unfair. I don't think it's unfair. I don't think, it's unfair. I think so. I don't think it's I'm, unfair. I'm advocating for the youth because I'm a young person. Advocating for the youth would be <laughs> making them aspire to have songs that reach that level. I mean, I mean, <laughs> and again, I just, just see. But the thing is just the distribution, just how everything, the whole music industry has changed overall. And I think that's one of the things. It has changed overall. Yeah, we you know, accept people that. People aren't signing to 360 deals anymore. People aren't, um, you know, the, the, the distribution is not just TV, radio, and um, print. <laughs> no, but, you know, TV, radio, it's no, the internet is TikTok. It's TikTok. Social you know, media. Social media, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, Which could be said as part of the problem. So it... it, it yeah. I don't know, but it, it it definitely has changed. I hope people consume music ha- definitely has changed. So, you know, where you think people to reach the heights of Shampa, like maybe it has, it's just that the metrics aren't showing up because the metrics are divided. How people consume music is so varied and vast. Like, you know, it kills on TikTok, fine, because, and but billions of people essentially are on TikTok. And mm-hmm. I think it's fair to say billions because mm-hmm. it's China, like billions of people are on TikTok. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> if the song does well on TikTok, it's, it's safe to say that millions um, hear the song. It has reached millions of people. All right, know? so, so I'm, a, just, I'm a cliff twang mm-hmm. and my song seen by millions of jamaicans yeah nobody can across it yeah i mean that was seen by millions is yeah. that a hit song to help them yes hover. it was mm-hmm. the fuck it was right. <laughs> he was on record someplace yeah. the fuck it was it wasn't even as uh, some of them dj, DJ Paul. make it into yeah, exactly a song who's the next one with a viral thing a viral moment you know what i mean candy candy right? wow 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 is that a hit song wow wow no because she never got find something yeah. <laughs> this is where I said social media and TikTok it muddy the waters because yeah. you have artists even telling me oh I'm a viral on TikTok oh that's how I go viral it's like alright and you're viral yeah because I think that's viral. it you know, like that's what I'm saying people but consume what else? Yeah, if I people mean like Candy was viral people consume music differently and I think we're not giving it a fair shape people consume music I'm not though. saying that I'm just saying that probably some of some <clears> people I put too much importance on going viral. Going viral, yeah. And some of these artists are being over reliant on social media. And then that's because is, you know, it, because you know, even with YouTube, them sp- Adam said we know that. how them forge the numbers there. Mm-hmm. Adam said them that. Them spend them money and oh, they may have these views, mm-hmm. right? Adam. Look on my music video, I have millions of views. Look on my comments. Yeah. And then it would have seemed like that's what them base it off. Like, Successful. I just want to yeah, be viral. Mm. Should you create timeless music or take advantage? And I understand completely what you yeah. were saying there. It's My the thing is the over reliance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You use the algorithm, you understand it as a tool, you use it as an addition. Some of them artists, artists here is an end all be all okay. <laughs> to determine their success. Look, upon my music video, it have. 179 million views. You remember that one artist? Exactly. <laughs> you can't tell him say no hit song that. Yeah. Did it have the impact? Cause he lied. <laughs> and had the gods. Did nerve, it have the impact? The nerve to say we're bad mind. People Outside of a certain bubble. So yes, millions of people may have seen something on TikTok. Mm-hmm. But does it have impact outside of that bubble? I don't know. I don't live in New York. These are the questions you gotta ask. These are the questions you have to ask. (laughs) I can't see it. I can't see it. That's why even when TJ's song was first brought up, I never didn't know about it. That Jeremy just said, "Oh, put up on TikTok," but me never yeah. know. Yeah, I don't always say that. I see it on streets. Yeah, and every day. When like, I say, "Yo, like, what yeah. a summer song," man, I say, "Yo, it's drift." It's undeniable now, yeah. You know what I mean? But when it just the on TikTok, when it's online alone. Exactly that. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that really? And move I feel like, like even that? even with that song too, without the dance challenge or yeah, the dance. Thing to go with it 
I feel like it would have still the road because mm. of the just how catchy it is. It have an upbeat like vibe. It just make you want to move, and the people them I crave that. Like mm. they want something that gets them moving. You know, even artists have dance challenge and use that as success as well. I have a dance challenge. Yeah, people are doing the challenge on on TikTok. Mm-hmm. This song I'm on up road. <laughs> <laughs> People are doing the challenge, right? When that is supposed to be used as a marketing tool. Mm-hmm. Exactly what, what, what Javi said. Say, yo, if you didn't have this challenge, would this song be a hit song? I think it would be, Javi, still. Javi surmises that it would be, and I agree. Yeah. It catchy. So it's like, enough of them use this as a, as a, as a crutch yeah. to me. But even for answer your question, though, I don't think yeah, I just, wouldn't. I've never heard thoughts on, be, on your thoughts on if dance is in a good space. Yeah, I wouldn't be quick to say that it is in a good space because we've been having discussions about it for a while. You know, the state of dance hall and the trap hall and whatever, whatever. But with these songs, with Drift and what the other song you did say? Well, uh, Taliban's. Yeah, Taliban's like. They're good songs. We'd have to get more songs like that, like more mm. upbeat or just good songs f- to then say, okay, hmm, it seems as if dancehall is now in a good state or it's getting there. Mm. Yeah. So more to say it right now, but it can be if we just get more good songs like this, more upbeat, catchy groovy songs where people can vibe to mm. much hurry <laughs> he's like she's deep in thought so it's, hmm. 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 <laughs> i would agree with that i think we need to see more of a sample size um i think as i said the things that i mentioned earlier about the chopping song them are going and all them thing there and, and, and the, with the rise of these that that of too, you know maybe we're just distracted probably momentarily yeah, yeah. Like, we're not really paying no mind because we're so caught up in the hype with the drift. And, and maybe because we've made an effort to not really pre them somewhere. anymore, yeah. Anymore. I didn't highlight them. It like get that. played out, like, you just get yeah, tired it of it. It's the out. same thing. You know what's so funny? You, t- you asked me that question, and what immediately came to my mind is which the question? Dancer, the state of dancer. Mm. Is it in a good state? What immediately came to my mind is the ski mask. Mm. Schemas satirize, and when you satirize something, you're telling it in a, you're taking the obvious and amplifying it. So you're taking the truth and you're amplifying it. That's what sat- satire basically is. Mm. Um, I'm and making, making a joke, yeah, comedy light, out yeah, of making it, comedy making out of it. Um, light, mm-hmm. and the. <laughs> Schemas to me represents dance hall. In a way, yeah. <laughs> in a way. Because like, even though, not to, not to interject, but even though I see a decline in the Chaplin song, I will leave a dark song out there and be a depression song. And, and, and yes. he even did something where Voldemort or the, a producer mm. and Schemas and mm-hmm. he's like, I don't want to hear them song. Yeah. And he yeah, might them, tr- them him song, try yeah. to do something and him, him still like, him can't can't let it go mm. Sch- schema to me is the barometer <laughs> <laughs> of dance style like funny and 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 you see i say that as a joke but i sincerely mean it because mm. he he's he's and i think when he does it he's taking what we're saying people like us mm-hmm. what we're saying and bring it to even the artist's attention for make them say like this is this is it like you yeah. got you, you, it's now a trope <laughs> and if you know what trope is in literature or any you know any you tell them Ari. artistic thing is a trope that is a <laughs> trope is something that is constantly done <laughs> leave my friend are you do <laughs> I, that, that's what the first to do that's what the first to do I'm so smart I'm so smart I know words that you don't know <laughs> oh god oh god no but um somebody I come and say we know what trope mean bum buck like that wow 
<laughs> well, you see, like, <laughs> I would, I, I, I genuinely assume that you, most people know, but then apparently, I, I mean, I'm condescending. When yeah, I man, I know. Like Tell me, huh? <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> trope is like when you do things, like, a trope is like, um, that something that is done on constantly, like a topic that is explored constantly in different ways, but constantly mm. in in different movies, whatever. And you know the trope of sadness, that like superhero trapping. landing. That's yeah, a trope that's of superhero trope. movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, how they land. Their origin story is always yeah. like blue lights that shoot up in the sky. That's a superhero yeah. movie trope. <laughs> yes. Fridged woman, like how? Uh, All right, they gone too deep. Yeah, <laughs> right. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got so too. it's just like the trope of like sad and dark and you know chopping and all them something they like. Mm. You know, it's that's the state of dance hall. So whether you in so general, in general. So if you if it's good or bad, that really depends on who's listening. You know, and I realize that too. Like we older folks, like we probably don't get it. And I've always said like it's just not for me. And I try not to bash it or whatever. I just know it's not for me. And I. The ones that the ones that I like mm-hmm. is for me, and it's like I listen, I hear it, and the new ones at least, like you know, I like it. Yeah, but you know, the ones that would talk about pain and them something, they understand. Like I'm, I can't, I can't. That can't be my diet. Like that can't be something that I listen to on a daily. On a daily. So this, but there are young men out there who have a hard time expressing their emotions, communicating, and if they find. Um, somebody or a person who can communicate that sadness and that feeling of rejection, loneliness for them, you know, that like, who are we to say if it's good or bad? Mm -hmm. And maybe it won't get the commercial success that we all hope it would get. You know, we we want for them to, we want the overall general state of dance to be, get its own Grammy nomination, to get um, the string category, sorry, Mm -hmm. Um, category. We want dance hall to be, um, like people know it like oh not island pop not tropical house but dancer not it's not no, not even interchanging with the word reggae but dancer like to know it generally and to know to know and have the same meaning that it has for us jamaicans and mm. the people in the jamaican diaspora the every man that people in in somewhere like wisconsin yeah will know dancer when they yeah hear it and, and they know the dancer. vibe of it they know the vibe of like it and they must hear the give me the light yeah they mm-hmm. must know they give me the light and whatever and the king of the dance hall and you know the F- fuji and being him um, bounty killer and them like them know it them know the vibe of dancer but them probably not really Oh, that's all, you know? Mm-hmm. So that, like, we probably have these high hopes and expectations for it. But again, it's like, is it good or bad? That really depends on who you ask. Because, like, people, I, I, th- the reason why these songs can be created is because there's an audience for it. It's consumed because there's an audience for it. True. Because there are a lot of young men who, again, can't communicate and express their feelings. Is, is satirizing exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, they can't communicate and express their feelings. And, you know, majority of us, I, I say it all the time, like them say, you're functioning, Ill- functioning illiterate. We are functioning crazy people <laughs> walking amongst us. Yeah. And now, you know, there wasn't a language for mental illness before now. So now it's like, yeah, there are a lot of people who are depressed. Mm-hmm. And this music helps them to cope. So is it good or bad? That truly depends on who you ask. And and for I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's good, it's bad or whatever. Like, I have my own feelings. Like... I generally don't really like the depressive state that it's in, mm-hmm. the chopping state that it's in. Um, the chip glock. The chip glock. <laughs> so that's, that's, that it's arises. The well. commercial success. And when we mean commercial, we mean like overseas, international. Like, I don't want us to be in clubs. I want us tour clubs. I want us sold out Madison Square Gardens. I want us to, to be able to, to sell out O2 Arena by yourself. That's like that's like foolishly my hope for dancehall artists. Reggae too, but I you know again and again the clubs are fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to see a Champions League final? Yeah. Go far. Yeah. But then again, the clubs are fine. Mm. You mm. know. And with the depression music, it is some of the music actually uh, express how they feel. I feel mean, like over the part that it. too. COVID is a part of it as well. Mm-hmm. But it's like 
you had those songs before, but you never did get the steady diet of them. No. And that's where you that's where that's what leads you to think that this is a trend. Mm-hmm. And some of them are just doing it to trend and mm-hmm. because they see that it's trendy. Mm-hmm. And enough of them is like the jerk man analogy that you like to bring up. I already say, yo, oh, them see the jerk man. I say less and him and him doing very well. So oh mm-hmm. let me do it as well. And so, then, really sad, but I can't write a sad can write song. A sad song. <laughs> me not me not chop, but me no chopping. Yeah, and and even why you just bring up as well, Javi is key. Mm. No for them you tell una una no star. <laughs> I don't even realize that. Every oh getter gosh. you cannot be a star mm. because if everyone's a star, then no one. No is one star. is a star, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I mean? As fuck up that may seem, but that it's is the true. reality. Mm-hmm. Is, you see this participation trophy shit? Ah, uh, it's the worst. Because if everybody get one, then that means my first place is inconsequential. This is, the, this is, the, this is nothing. The wussifying of society that me talk about me. <laughs> no, don't do that. Like, let's nah, true though. It's I'm, true. Alan cannot be artists. Alan cannot be star. Alan are not stars. Some are Jamaican right. Mentality. Just like a Jamaican it mentality. It is because we have this me fight against. Star. We have this. Bad mind. This bad mind, this... Jealous. I'm not jealous, but it's sort of a defense mechanism where, yo, there's so much things going against me. Mm. Victim mentality. A sort of victim mentality, but it's a sort of encouraging type thing as well, where them say, yo, Janos, the all odds are against me. They create narratives within them, within them head and them create enemies and create outer no, no, things say, that that that, that, that not, they no, use to drive them you're to you're not the villain further in your story mm-hmm. it's sort of like what michael jordan would do it's me like to motivate themselves when in actuality nobody not bad mind them nobody <laughs> not fight them nobody not doing nothing to them you know what i mean <laughs> yes we all have our struggles but some of them you just know say it's blown out of proportion right and some of them doesn't even realize, say, oh, una no star. Some of them can write. But because you know one be in front of the camera, you feel like say you're not a star. Mm-hmm. And you feel like say, oh, being a writer and being behind the scenes. Nah, I want to be in front of the camera. No fun don't meant for being in front of the exactly. camera. Exactly. You need a reality check. And this is weird. <laughs> Tell them again, yeah, John. Like, just be real. And this is where the lack of a business itself. that we always bemoan. <laughs> oh, God. This is where things like this come to play where yo, we don't really have no real business because everybody can just pick up one 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 pen, mm-hmm. go on one studio and voice and then an artist. Oh, you see say yo, how much people watch me think on TikTok? It gone viral. Viral. But me a big up, me a star. You can't tell them say me a star. Mm-hmm. Who is you for them? You're not. You know a star. You just know big I, words. I, I don't tell people that they're not stars. <laughs> but uh, they know the market group rep and say, yo, the fix are Ari from the fix. That Which is unfair. <laughs> it's unfair. I say, yo, me I'm not a star. That's unfair because I don't, I don't, I don't. And that is why me always, sometimes when me big up the artist them sometimes, mm-hmm. I always have the added caveat that some are in our goal. Yeah. Because some of some of them need to be told that because you know on know on a dilute. What the good shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Would make everything just get swamped up in this bowl of shit. <laughs> and a shit it just leave a shitty aroma about the place. And that is what now in turns defines the genre. <laughs> all in all because hmm. so much honor does them out does all the shit <laughs> I mean if it's like 99% clean water and one poop gets in it is it still clean water or is it, it depends on water? how big the shit is <laughs> some big old poop is it shitty water or is it just water with it's shit contaminate the water no is it shitty water or is it water with shit Oh God. Either we're shit then. <laughs> See, and I drink it. <laughs> no, me not consume it. <laughs> shit then, I don't. I don't know people are saying international. They are shit then, so. You know what I mean? We don't like this. Jaja. So, it, and, that's, and that it all comes back to say, yo, the genuine new, them are actually right from them art. Because as artists, that's all you can ask them for. Just express themselves mm-hmm. truthfully. 
Because mm-hmm. more often than not, that's the songs that cut through, especially when you're good. Mm-hmm. Just remember that as well. Because someone's not good. Remember that. But now you have the people that want muddy up the water and say, pain song, I go on, so we need to do that as yeah. well. Yeah. Muddy up the waters then. Till the genre is defined by that. Till somebody like a schemas can exist and thrive. <laughs> It's a commentary on the state of things right now. So me, I cannot be as much as I would want the genre to thrive. Dance are thriving does us good here. No? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I want to have people realize that. We, right? we more than anybody else would have want dance off be the biggest fucking thing. God, that would help us. Yeah. It would help us <laughs> as an entity. They fix. So it does me no pleasure. I say, say yo, things not all that well. Mm. But I just suck. I have some people cars dance or them bed, bread and butter. Then can't talk against it. Then can't talk the truth. What you mean, man? What you mean? Them songs are the good, man. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean, man? Everything nice. What you talk about? Me a bad artist. Bad artist, they but me a bad artist. <laughs> All the manager, the people, they must be go be artists. <laughs> people don't even know their rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. My God. And then it's like, it seems like no one wants to be honest in the no, circle. No, So like, if you have your entourage Mm-mm. and your team. Yeah, yes, man. Like, I, if, if you have somebody like Arip on your team, I'm sure you're going to know that you're not a good artist. <laughs> <laughs> you Oh, my God. Book off there with a big word. <laughs> but you yeah, know what? It's not, but you know uh, what? It's the ugly somebody truth. somebody like Arian in your circle you there is a very very high possibility that you would do well no man no one an Aryan on them circle because you're a bad mind you're a bad mind and you're condescending and you're Fight intimidating out. i'm a bad man i ain't gonna go along with everything what the man say Fimatic when the panic tool, that girl I even know say I just saw my cool. Like a blood clot, you all me ever load. Me no want a friendship, me rather pam my own. No want friendship, me rather pam my own, pam my own. In Killa Villa Milla we, the skill like Bibari, my life to live make it be worth it now. We are sin. But I want thing you know for certain that you'll come back for more And drop your pennies to the floor So come and wind up your waist, set it down here Say you have a man, tell me you don't care 